Shalom. This is Buddha Ayuwai, the soldier of Yahweh Shai, giving all praises. Infinity honors to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Kadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. A salutation to the hope and elect across the four corners of the earth and to the brothers in the light of the Gentiles camp. Okay, now this topic is gonna be that this knowledge is not this is the this is the subject of the topic. This knowledge is not from us these words are not from us they're from the most high we are just here to 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 we are just used as instruments to push this word okay no the first piece that we're gonna get for that is Daniel 2 and 21 okay because whenever we say something to the spirit or Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to the scriptures this is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh talking to you. And also, you still got to filter it, okay? Because we, being flesh, although the Lord uses us to communicate to you, you still, we might, we, our flesh may, may speak sometimes, so you might got to filter it, okay? This is Daniel 2 and 21, and he changed the times and the seasons. He removed it kings and set it up kings. This is speaking about Yahweh Bashim Yahweh he removed kings and set it up kings. He controls everything, okay? He give it wisdom unto the wise. So this is where we get our wisdom from. And the next point to look at, this is where you ain't supposed to look at no one like in a in a in a in a certain manner. Like don't they got a precept, don't think. Let me get it. Don't think too high of a man. Let's get it. Let me get let me get Romans. Oh, let me finish this. He says he give it wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that no understanding. So the point is the we, we get this knowledge from Yahweh by Shimia Shai. You ain't supposed to think too 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 highly. You ain't supposed to think highly of someone because anyone because ultimately um they get a knowledge from Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Yes, you're supposed to reverence always and respect, like, reverence always, you know? Um, let me see. This is Romans 12 and 16. Be of the same mind one to another. Mind not high things, but condescend to men of low, low estate. Be not wise in your own conceit. Because why? We get the wisdom from Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. The Lord controlling this whole thing. He could make you wise. He could make you unwise easy. Like a snap of his finger. You know? You see that movie, Infinity Wars? Like a snap of his finger, man. You ain't supposed to be praising yourself. Like bigging up yourself in your own conceit. That, that, that's not supposed to be happening. And then you ain't supposed to be looking at someone like too, too, too much. You know? Not like saying like, if you... Who has hears to ear, let him hear. I be trying to over explain shit. But the scripture says it, man. You know, but let's get the next piece up. Let me see. Let's go first Corinthians 3 and 18. This is first Corinthians 3 and 18. Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seem it to be wise in this world, let him become a fool that he may be wise. So if somebody is wise in this world, like knowing how to do certain shit in this world, like you may not be aware of, whether it be financially or anything, man, from from whatever you could think of. I can't think of any way, no. He says, let him become a fool, meaning not literally become a fool, but... um. Just don't be, don't be like, I know it all. That's what it means, okay? That he may be wise, okay? Verse 19, for the wisdom of this world is foolishness, foolishness with Yahweh, for it is written, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness, all right? Um, let me see. I'm going to get, I was looking for the next precept. This woman's 12 and 3. It says, For I say through the grace given unto me, and that's the point, 
This was grace. Paul had grace. Like we do, we all have grace. To every man that is among you, not to think himself more highly than he ought to think right there. Okay, because at the end of the day, we all sin. And I don't care what you do. We all sin. We all go off. We all, but you, what you got to understand is not too, that's why you're not supposed to think highly of yourself or too much highly of others. You give reverence, yes. And this is where you got to understand that the wisdom comes from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And that's something to understand in this in this truth as well. You sin yourself, man. You know, I sin, man. But to think soberly, soberly, meaning, you know, when you when somebody is prideful, they're not they're not sober. They just hide. That's that's the thing with pride. It gets you on a high. That's the meaning of pride, actually. You hide, you know. Um, pride in the scriptures, pride was compared to leaven. When when meaning yeast, and when yeast gets into a bread, it make it wise, meaning it got high. But uh, let's continue. It says, according as Yahweh had dealt to every man the measure of faith. So everybody got a different measure of faith. Okay, but this is just to understand that the, the, the knowledge comes from Yahweh by Hashem Okay, um, let me see. Let me get. Exodus, this last precept, Exodus, the fourth chapter. Four and ten. And Moses said unto the Lord, O oh my Lord, I am not eloquent. Let's look up the word eloquent. Neither hear, hear to, for, nor since thou hast spoken unto thy servant. But I, am, but I am slow of speech and of a slow tongue. Let's quickly look at that word eloquent. It says, fluent or persuasive in speaking or writing. So Moses wasn't fluent or persuasive in speaking or writing. He was, Moses was probably frank. He was stuttering. He was like, you know, we walk around the edges. <laughs> he said, I am not eloquent, neither here too, for nor since thou hast spoken unto thy servants, but I am slow of speech and of a slow tongue. And the Lord said unto him, who had made man's mouth? Or who make it the dumb or deaf or the seeing or the blind have not heard the Lord. And that's why you gotta be humble because the Lord could make all those and he could turn you into all of those wherever he like. That's where you know with the knowledge you got, you be thankful, and then you just share according to what you have. Uh, and you know you, you um Salaki, you live according to the scriptures. Ecclesiastes twelve and thirteen. But with that being said, shall we?